Iran's retaliatory attack over the weekend is today testing the strength of Israel's defense systems and U.S. political alliances, both foreign and domestic. And the House is fast-tracking aid to Israel. To let them know that we have their back and their right to self-defense. A $95 billion Senate bill passed in February included aid for Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan. It never made it to a House vote because conservative Mr. Republicans President, opposed the Ukraine aid. Now House Speaker Mike Johnson plans to split the one Senate bill into four as he faces sharp criticism from within his own party. I regard myself as a as a wartime speaker. Hanging over his head is a warning from fellow Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene, threatening to move to oust the speaker if he brings up a vote for Ukraine aid. Today, the speaker insisted he's fit for the job. What is your response to Republicans who say this move should cost you your job and that if you don't resign, they will try to oust you? I am not resigning, and it is, um, it is in my view, an absurd notion that someone would bring a vacate motion. Watching from the front lines of his war with Russia, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky worries what a standalone Ukraine aid package may look like. Well, yeah, if the sure. Congress will divide this assistance uh, after this. everything that happened, will divide into Israeli and Ukrainian, then it means that this is a matter of elections in the United States. Zelensky adding, without U.S. support, Ukraine has no chance of winning that brutal war. Meantime, Israel is vowing to strike back against Iran's unprecedented attack. The Biden administration is among those urging restraint. Iran says it does not want to escalate regional tensions, but threatens a massive response to the slightest action from Israel. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.